Good morning, it's Kale. Today I'm going to be working on some diamond painting and I'm going to work on Aquarius by Josephine Wall. And I haven't been in my office to do this particular project because I've been out in the living room while I've been puppy um, training for the potty for my new puppy. So it's been quite some time since I've streamed in here for diamond painting from my uh, drafting table here that I have my diamond painting this big canvas on. So it's nice to get back to this. Um, let me go ahead and get some Spotify going in the background. Hopefully it's not too loud. You know, the audio always gets to me. So let's see here. Um, I have not finished this section. I haven't touched this project for weeks on end. And I'm like, what? So I've been working on the Serafina out in the living room while I was streaming out there. I'm gonna actually turn that down just a tad. I'll get around to it, hold on. Uh, let's see here. Just so it's not too distracting. It's distracting me. Well, a little bit of tunes, but not too, too much. Um, let me go ahead. I, you know, it's really bizarre. So Streamlabs, when I stream live, it's got this little window over on the left and it says sign in to chat, but I am signed in. So I'm like, why are you asking me that? So it wants to open that in a web browser and I'm like, why? I don't know. I'll type in there, good morning, and then I'm gonna minimize the browser window and there, see if it showed up. It looks like it showed up. Okay, so that's working. Cool. So let's see here. So it feels really strange to be getting back to this project after so long away from it. It's like, wait, what? What are these symbols? What is this? How do I do this? I mean, in a way, it's like riding a bike because you don't forget how to do it once you know how. But it's also very bizarre because it's just been so long. I'm also using a different pen, diamond painting pen, that I haven't used in a while. It's got the... Um, square tip here and these are square drills so that's handy but it's also a tad awkward I'm not sure how to explain it it's like the little edge of the the tip here kind of I don't know it's hard to explain there's a, a pen that's kind of like the GPDP that comes with the diamond art club kits that one tends to work pretty well for this so I might end up switching to it if this one here doesn't feel particularly comfortable <laughs> and of course this kit has a lot of confetti this particular image so I don't do a lot of multi-placing so I just have I think this is a three on here uh, if you actually get to do three in a row it's like a miracle So the pups are sleeping. They're behind me on a couple of dog beds. I figured I might as well go and, I know I saw these somewhere, go ahead and try and get a stream in while they're asleep. Something peaceful. So I'm doing a symbol that's a triangle, an upright triangle with a dot in it. It's 317 is the color. I need to get on to um, 
one of the drill ordering sites and order some drills for this. It was actually, for some reason, um, I don't have enough of this particular color, I don't think. So, uh, I think the color is 825. It's a blue. So I have to order some of those. I know I see this. I know the symbols are around some more. This is a kind of common symbol. At least in the sections that I've done so far. It's so much more quiet here in the studio when I'm uh, streaming than out in the living room. It's a smaller space. My living room is very open concept. And obviously this room is not the studio. It used to be one of the daughter's bedrooms that I converted once she moved out. Move this out of the way. Is this the playlist that has that particular song that's not really chill? I think so. <laughs> um, yeah, that one's more like Let's try this one It says copyright free lo-fi beats That seems more chill More chill so of course, um, <clears throat> at some point on the Spotify, since I kind of changed my plan, um, it may play an ad. So my apologies for that. But really, until I get the um, channel monetized, at least some way, you know got to be careful with the budget you know it's amazing that you go to the grocery store and you're just buying regular things say like milk eggs bread the prices are astonishing it's it's out of control I don't know why we're not in the pandemic anymore all those supply chain issues should be resolved for the most part other than you know barges hitting bridges and so I don't understand and I just saw these I don't understand why it's like that I mean you know a loaf of bread is like you know four or five bucks I'm like what Maybe I should start making my own bread. I'm assuming that flour is cheaper, but I could be wrong. It's been a while since I bought flour. So I could be wrong. And then I'm going to make the assumption that making your own bread is cheaper than buying a loaf of bread. I think. I don't know. Maybe that's something that I need to research. But it's just crazy. I mean, I don't understand like what people do when they don't have a, a employment that just pays like eight grillion dollars, you know, every time. They get paid uh, you know what are they doing are you are you gonna have like the people eating bread and and bologna and peanut butter you know mac and cheese like really unhealthy things just to survive you know my concern is like you know 
what if the food supply actually like really the food supply chain actually really broke down like super broke down it would be chaotic on society I mean people would lose it they would be looting there would be uh, fighting people would be crazy because of course you can't survive if you can't eat And then I, I wonder if, you know, I mean, who's setting these prices? The grocery store, the the manufacturer of the particular item? Like, so, okay, if you want to buy, I don't know, um, I don't know, say a loaf of bread. Like, who's, who's setting the price? The people who make the bread? And then what? Then the grocery store adds their markup. I mean, it's just, they're just ripping people off. And I really wonder if that's just freaking deliberate. Because it's just so out of control. How ridiculous it is. Okay, after I do this drill, I'm going to check the... Uh, The stream quality, click, it says the stream quality is good. I changed the bit rate. I was doing uh, the streaming on Twitch. Okay, close, can you close? Well, then don't close. I was streaming on uh, Twitch yesterday because I'm doing my gaming over there. And then uploading, you know, the copy over to the Gaming with Kale channel over here on YouTube. And I had this notice on the Twitch side where it was like, unstable. I'm like, what? Because I've never seen that before. And I didn't have anything else going on. I'm looking for this symbol. And here we go. And they're like, click on, and I don't know Twitch very well. I haven't streamed over there very much. And the, uh, the stream thing my Bob says on there, on the page, the stream manager or whatever they call it. It says, check this with Twitch Inspector or whatever. It came up in like a separate window. I'm like, okay. That sounds cool. Like, check out your stream, right? And it said it was fine. But when you went on to the actual Twitch page, it was like, unstable. I was like, bitrate too high. So today, I turned it down. I think I had it at 6,000, and I turned it down to like 4,500. So we'll see if that improves things. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not technical too much with that kind of thing. I think I might almost be done with the symbol here in this section. Okay, that's a weird piece of music. I'm going to change the song. It's too repetitive. Oh my gosh. Next song. I forget what that one was. Okay. So I think... The symbol is done in this section. Now, of course, really, I say that and then I find one. Um, of course, I can always go back. If I miss one, I see it right here. So since this particular kit has so much confetti, uh, at least for most of it, if you look at the image, uh, there might be some sections maybe on the sky a little bit where you can do some multi-placing, but I mean, for the most part, it's confetti. Okay, so that goes in with the triangles. 
So these particular containers I have sorted by, not by color, they're by kind of the symbol type. Because there's over 200 colors, it's like, ah! Okay, so let's find the telephone. So telephone would be with technology. So here's the phone. So that's $37.99. I just moved the whole thing. This is the one I was using. This little cheapy DP from Diamond Art Club. I don't even know like where I have wax around here. I've been moving things around in my office. Does this have wax on it? It does. So it's been a bit chaotic. And then of course being out in the living room and trying to set my laptop up out there so that I could stream out there. And then having to wait on the puppy to get with the program and the potty training. I think this is a four. She's actually been pretty good. There haven't been any accidents for quite a number of days. So maybe we'll, we're past that and she is considered potty trained. if I say that maybe like another week <laughs> just worried but for the most part I think she is now I have to figure out how to show her or convince her or let her know that she can do her little business also when she's outside so when I let her out she goes running like a maniac around the yard. She's got that puppy energy. And she's still little, so it looks funny. It's really cute. And I'm looking for the phone here. And um, so she's so busy running and being cray cray. Uh, I don't think she's even thinking about the fact that she can go pee in the grass. So I know that she's seen the other dogs doing their thing. I don't know if they learn that way or not. I think the phone part here is done. Because the other little puppy, Rosie, who's almost a year and a half she's just now realizing that she can go poo out there she'll do pee here and there but she didn't really realize that she could do that out there I don't know why maybe because she's so little I'll move out of my way okay that was $37.99 I woke up this morning and my back was jacked up. That kind of muscle cramp or whatever where when you move you go <coughs> like that. And the phone goes with the technology stuff. I'm putting down this um, washcloth here. My arm laying on the drills. Okay, so we've got... I think that's like an antenna signal. 
wonder if that would be with the technology stuff or just with the weird shape stuff. I don't see it there. I see the car. No, the car is like blue. So I hope everybody's well. Hope you're having a good week. Okay, yeah, it's with the odd, odd shapes. So it's just kind of like curvy. I don't know if the camera will focus. I don't have the autofocus on the camera because when I'm moving around, make anybody sick. I open the curtain in a little bit. The sun's starting to come up. Okay, so this one actually has a little bit of multi-placing here. Wait, what is that? I see something. Maybe. I don't know if I can get it. Maybe, maybe like an eyelash. Um. I don't know if I have anything over here. Okay, maybe this will pull it out. Okay, what was it right here? Piece of lint. My hair. Could be my hair. Come on, come on up. We got around to having, oh, having our yard sale. That was nice. Okay, I think that's out of there. So we made a little bit of money, and it's nice to clear out the junk That was lingering in the garage because we've been planning on having a yard sale for months. I hear somebody moving. One of the dogs. So anyway, so back to expensive stuff that shouldn't be expensive, like food. I don't know like what the government I hate depending on the government to actually handle that issue. But they might have to step in and do something. I don't know what. Maybe like find out why the prices are so high. And find out, you know, like the source, like who's setting the price. And then like tell them to knock it off. Because it's just not right. I mean, it's like, really? Stop doing that. You could do a, you could do this, this punishment where it's like, are you the CEO of this, this food? You are, and, and you raise your prices? Well, we're gonna cut your pay. And cut the pay of all uh, upper management to that of like your lowest employee, <laughs> like to minimum wage. It's like here, you try and live off this. Go buy, go buy some food now. You're not allowed to pawn anything. Just with the money you have from your last paycheck, go buy food, and then go back to your company. And readjust your prices. I mean, because really, that's the thing. They 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 raise the prices, and and they just don't care about the people. Because what is the purpose of a corporation? It's to make profit. They don't care about the people. And of course, with food. You know that people need food, so 
it's not it's not a luxury item like you know a Rolex watch or a gaming system so hopefully they'll resolve that situation fairly quickly at least over the next few months because it's ridiculous I hate going to the grocery store now it's just depressing I'm going to go ahead and open the blinds here so I can look out the window. It looks a little cloudy. At least I can see out to the street. Nothing going on. There's never anything going on on our street. Thank goodness. Love it. Peace and quiet. Although every once in a while my neighbor has his little motorcycle noise going on. He and his wife ride motorcycles. <laughs> My husband had a motorcycle before. He had a Harley. And he likes motorcycles. He's had numerous motorcycles throughout his life. And so he's like, hey, let's go for a ride. And I'm like, I've you know, been on a motorcycle once before in my entire life. And I'm like, I don't know about that. So I rode behind him. And he wasn't like really like his seat didn't have um, a back to it so I had to hold on to him and this is a pretty big motorcycle I mean I don't even know how he manages it um, and so the entire ride so I'm holding on to him like you know like this right so every time that he would come to a stop I would run it like lean into him I mean not real on purpose you know he was slowing down just that forward motion right and then when he would accelerate right I would you know hold on to him like you know be pulled back but I'd be holding on to him so by the time that we got home I just say we were out maybe like I don't know 20 minutes or so maybe if that it was a fairly short ride um, around the neighborhood and whatever just in town and by the time we got back I was exhausted from holding on and being deathly afraid that I was going to fall off and die um, and he was he was exhausted because I was just just wailing on a bag of ore it's like oh sorry and I apologize. It's like, um, you know, the back of the seat has no back. Like, the seat has no back. So I couldn't, like, lean against that and, you know, just hold on to him and lean against the back. Uh, and I didn't enjoy it. It was scary. To me, it was scary. I mean, I know some people and women, whatever, like motorcycles. And they like that feeling in the open air, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, this is terrifying, and I don't want to go on it again. So I think I went on it like twice. I think he convinced me like for a second one. I'm like, Ugh. like no. And after that, he didn't ask again. He's like, I know, she's not wanting to come on this. I was like, no, 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 no more motorcycle for me. I wanted to like it because, you know, he really likes motorcycles. I wanted to be part of his hobby, whatever. But it was just a big no-go. It's like his car, you know. It's like, it's fast. I'm just not into that. Okay, so we're done with the weird little, I think it's like a little, like, transmitting signal. So what else we got here? Um, we've got the eye. The little small letter I, which I think would be with the letters, but it's not. Why not? <laughs> oh, those are like the those are like the big letters. Oh, here it's right here. This is five oh one. So 
So after a few years of, let's change to this one for a bit. After a few years of riding his motorcycle, he just ended up getting rid of it. He said he felt guilty. He would go on like long rides with his little buddies. Um, be gone all day, you know, or half the day or whatever. And I'm like, I don't care if you go riding. Go do it. Have fun. I can keep myself per occupied perfectly here at home. You know, I don't need you to keep me occupied. I'm going to go out and have fun. I wonder if he would say the same to me if the hobby that I had uh, took me away from the house. <laughs> Probably not. Be like, where are you going? Who are you going with? Who's going to be there? Although I'm an old lady. And if somebody other than my husband flirted with me, I'd like look at them like they were insane. Be like, dude, what are you doing? Are you on drugs? Like, what, what, what? Like, don't do that. It's creepy. It's creepy. Don't do it. I might have to find where I put my, um... I have so much wax. Let's see, where did I put it? Um... Goodness gracious. I don't see it over there. Well, let me look in here. I have a case here. I was doing the Serafina. That this tiny little pen needs a lot. I have to put some more back into the drafting table. It must be over with the uh, the diamond painting supplies that are behind me on the shelf. So hubby had a. I have a. Uh, Scion TC is my little car and at one point he bought mine's white and he bought a black one I'm like why what for right you can just drive mine but his was a FRS FRS something like that like the faster or whatever BS thing so we would take his car, like, you know, running an errand or whatever, and he'd be, like, you know, gunning it or doing his little whatever men do with cars that go fast. And, uh, you know, fast acceleration and all that. And I think we were on the highway, and he was, he was going pretty fast. I'm like, dude, if you don't stop that, I'm going to get upset. <laughs> I'm going to be wife yelling. Uh... I was like, please don't do that while I'm in the car with you. If you want to do that on your own time, okay. But please don't do that when I'm in the car with you. You know I hate it. I hate going fast. I never speed. I've never even had a speeding ticket. It's like, dude, don't do it. I don't like going fast. So he stopped doing that. <laughs> Learned his lesson. He did that once in the truck. He he did this like he just we were on a we were on an off ramp from the highway. And he's like stopping it. I'm like, oh my! I just like literally just gripped everything really super hard, white knuckle it, and 
I was like, stop it or whatever. I don't even know what I said. I probably looked like I was terrified. And uh, I think he did glance over at me and realized I was literally terrified. And he, yeah, he slowed down. He never did that again. I think he learned his lesson. I was, I was scared. Um, I have a terrible fear of getting into a car accident. And uh, yeah, well, my mom was in a car accident when I was young and I saw the aftermath and how hurt she was and everything. And just after that, I'm like, y yeah, I, I just do safe driving. Okay, so let's do the, um, what is that little square thing? I wonder if that's with the squares or in the odd shapes. Where are the squares? I wish there was an easier way to do this. And the other thing is that when I printed out some of the, um, I lost some of the labels that came with it, which are these kind of like bigger, bigger ones. I lost some of those, so I had to reprint and it just, the colors, I don't know, my printer didn't do right on that particular whatever. So now I can't like sort them by color. So I figured I'd just sort them by their shape. Okay, so there's one little square. No, oh, no, that's a triangle. So I think the lines are like, so I've got like technology, tools, triangles, um, office related things, plus signs, that's my phone. Um, circles. I hear a dog moving. I don't know who it is. This is like building. I got plants. I'll probably find it like when I'm not looking for it because that's the way that that normally works. So let's look for another one. Let's look for the airplane. The airplane, would that be with transportation? What does it look like? So I've got two. Okay, so the top of the canvas is that way. So this is the way that symbol would look. No, this is pointing downwards. That is not it. Wrong. I see a boat. I see an oil rig. What the hey? I should, is it this one here? So here's another one of those little, it looks like an airplane. But this one's also pointing down. It's not even the right color. Why aren't the three of them together? That is disorganized. I see the feet. I don't need that. Um, so why wouldn't I have put that one with the other ones? That's so dumb. I wonder if it's with the triangles. Oh my gosh, that is so frustrating. So I've got the three things here, like above me. So I can see all the symbols. Okay, so screw that one. This is the paint roller. Just like, oh my god. Oh, here it is. Here's this one, the one I was looking for earlier. The symbol, the little box. And then the paint roller would be with tools. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That 
is so aggravating. And there's just really no other way. I mean, I could do them in numerical order of the color number. But then I would have to have like the chart with me all the time while I was working on it because I'd be like, I don't know, you know. Um, I'm looking by the triangles to see if I put the plane over by the triangles. But I do not see it. How irritating. Yeah, there's got to be a better way. I mean, I can do this color here, but where's the paintbrush? Oh, there it is, way over there in the corner. There's the paintbrush, 3809. I'll do that one first. Okay, so I did the first stream in my office yesterday. And for the most part, the, the little puppy was asleep. So I'm hoping that today the same thing will happen. And that if she needs to go potty, she'll get up and go out and into the, the kind of open dining room that used to be a dining room area and just go out there without me having to take her out there. So that's the test, right? That if she wakes up, or if they wake up, I have the door open. So if they want to go out, they can go out. So the test is to see if she needs to go, if she'll get up and go over there. And not like just go on my carpet. Like, please don't go on my carpet. This is a pretty color. It's like a blue green. A deep blue green is pretty. I want to finish this section so I can move on to the next one. Okay, let's see if this works. Multi placing this wax. Cool. It works. I still have to find the airplane. I know it's there. Obviously, I've used it before. I just have to find where I put it. But again, the issues with the short-term memory. Pathetic. That all this and there's a lot of airplane up there but right now I'm doing paint roller more of this than I thought there would be. So Hubby and I started watching The Gentleman, which is really, really good. Really enjoyable. Even he likes it. He likes it a lot. Like right down his alley. And uh, it's really good. We haven't finished. Let me see. Let me think. I think we did finish Blue Eye Samurai. Which was also really good. 
We started Shogun, but we only watched a couple of episodes. We haven't had a chance to get back to it yet. Maybe this weekend. I feel somebody at my feet. Misty? Her name is Misty. Come here. Did you go out there and go potty? Did you go out there and go potty? I'm gonna sit with mommy for a minute. Just don't chew on my diamond painting, okay? She's a chewer. Chew on everything. Cushions, shoes. See, Rosie never did that. Rosie chewed on things, but mostly just toys. Lie down back there. That's where Rosie used to lie down when mommy would diamond paint. I saw another one over here. Where, where were you? Here. Let's see if she'll go back to sleep behind me. In the pillow. Without chewing on anything. So, once the, the potty training's done, then you go through the teething and wait for them to get their teeth all in and all that teething irritation and aggravation goes away and then after you do that after you get through that then you have to fix them and of course you have to keep up on their shots you know, for Parvo and all that stuff. I've had a puppy with... I, I got a puppy from the... I think it was from the shelter. A long time ago. And she had Parvo. And we had to uh, put her to sleep. It's really sad. Do you want to get down or are you going to lay down? One of the two. Don't chew on anything back there. She's a chubby little thing. She has little puppy fat. It's so cute. Rosie has never been fat a day in her puppy chihuahua life. She's the skinny mini. At one point, I was like just feeding her twice a day. But she just was so thin. So I started feeding her lunch and she filled out. She's better, but she's still the thin one. Okay, I feel the puppy moving behind me. Don't you want anything? looks at me okay I think we're done with the paintbrush hopefully yeah I think she'll go back to sleep I usually sleep for several hours once we wake up and then they go back to sleep after hubby leaves Okay, let's do these little squares. Like a gray. Make sure it's the right symbol. Oh god. I can't even imagine putting the wrong color in the wrong place here. Okay, so this one. I might actually be able to do some multi-placing here. A little bit. A little bit. Let me check on the 
Check on the stream. Checking. Your stream is good. Thank you. Okay. Let's see here. Get in there. So I hope that whoever, whoever is supposed to, is uh, working on getting this inflation, these prices down. I mean, who would, who would really want to see people starving where, to the point where they actually pass away in the United States, right? I mean, we're, we're like devolving into a third world country. It's like, really? Is that where we really want to take it? All in the name of profit. Now, I'm not saying the government needs to cover everything. This is a corporate issue. I don't, I don't think it's just government. Government doesn't set the price of your loaf of bread in your grocery store. Let me see what this dog's doing. What are you doing? Go to sleep. And of course, uh, government regulates tries to corporations so but if you're the owner of a corporation you can have like some freaking morals or ethics or whichever one applies where you really kind of go you know what we're not going to screw the people over that bad let's like let's like lower the price we're making money we're still making profit maybe we're not making as much profit but we're making profit and just like everybody agrees, like, hey, you know, these people that we're screwing over are our friends and our neighbors and our relatives, our co-citizens, you know, maybe even fellow workers, people who don't make as much as you do. Like you're literally screwing them over. I don't know how these people sleep at night. Uh, the uh, the moral crisis would just be uh, just uh, just crazy magnitude of like guilt. I would have so much guilt if I knew that I had raised my prices to such an extent that people were complaining and um, starving, right? Not being able to eat. <laughs> just be like yeah lower the price we're not doing that we're just not doing that I, I don't care if we make less money if we cover our expenses maybe a little bit of profit over that we're good to go but we're not starving people we're just not going to do it okay, I think that's it for the little boxes do 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 YouTube's probably going like, why is this diamond painter talking about inflation? Well, last I heard, that's not a taboo subject, so. Okay, so the spaceship is here. That's 3808. And that one was in the transportation it's in the transportation technology area. Oh, here's the... Uh... Okay, so, okay, okay, memory. Okay, so what happened with the airplane 
is I threw some of these in here by accident and so I was going to take them out and I just haven't gotten around to it so okay that's the story with the airplane <laughs> uh, that's not long-term memory that's sh that, that's not short-term memory issue that's a long-term memory issue because I didn't remember and you know what's really funny is I have those two bottles sitting in front of me they're like right there I could have just looked over to say you know what are, what are those symbols on those two duh okay what am I doing the spaceship okay there is more of the car down over here Okay, where did I see the spaceship? Kind of gonna be over here. Okay, I think the puppy did go back to sleep. Hurrah. I think it's gonna rain today, which is fine. We need all the rain that we can get before the summer hell season starts. Today, Thursday. No, it's Wednesday. So maybe it won't rain today. I don't know. I thought it was... I'm like a day behind, ahead, whatever. Behind. No. Yeah. Behind. Ahead. <laughs> And the NFL draft is coming up. I think it's on the 25th. That's always kind of fun to watch. At least the first round. And I'm usually, you know, coloring or something. Gaming while it's on. So it's not like I'm staring. Staring at the screen like in, oh, this is awesome. More it's like just kind of sort of in the background and sort of listening see what's going on anything you know interesting it's very rare that I actually just watch the television without doing something else so in the evening when the TV's on I'm just too tired and I'm usually like just listening to something on YouTube and there's nothing really on TV that I'm interested in. Okay, I feel another movement at my feet. It's probably the other one. Yep, it's the other one. Come on. Ooh. Let me see if I can pick her up. She's like, Mom, why am I on the, fl on the floor and the little brat is up there with you? That's not fair. That's my spot. Okay, so now they're both behind me. So let's see what they do. Usually when, when I put them like close together, physical proximity, Misty starts chewing on Rosie. Because she's, you know, younger in the puppy thing. Here's a spaceship. And sometimes Rosie is all, all right with it. And other times she's like, oh God, the torment from this little brat. Okay, so let's see if there's any more spaceships here, and there's one. Straighten out there. These are sailboats. Some kind of wing thing, bird, uh, flower, or clover. The hazard symbol, a lock. There's so many symbols. I think that's it for the spaceship. Okay, let's get the car.
car is over there in the same section. Transportation. I think. Yeah. So that's uh, 161. a little bit okay so we're doing the car move that out of the way I don't think there will there will be too many of the car I don't think could be wrong So there's this open triangle, no, open diamond over here. That's that 825 that I need to order. For some reason, I just don't have any of that color. I mean, I don't know if I threw them out by accident or they just didn't send enough. I mean, I don't want to say that they didn't send enough if it's something that I did, you know, and it could have been something I did. This is a long time ago when I got this kit. I mean, well, long time to me. Um, I think it was like early, early last year. And I kind of vaguely remembered putting the <laughs> putting the diamonds in the little bottles, but it was so long ago. I don't, I don't know, like, what I did. I have a little bit of overflow, but I don't have that color. So I'm like, I don't know. Was that it for the car? Am I just, like, spacing out here? This is a boat. I thought there was one, like, over in here. Okay, no, I don't see that. Uh, that was a bust. And the sailboat. Sailboat is three thirty six. Change position. My back. Okay, let's see. The boat. We're doing the boat. It's a dark, kind of a gray, green, blue. It's amazing how the puppies just love like being like right next to me. There's that triangle with the dot. I did miss one. Oh my gosh. Crap. Oh, I'll come back to it as I fill this in. And find all the things that I missed. There's the spaceship. Seriously? Mmm. This is why you can't, I mean, I suppose you could, if you have really good eyesight, but this is why you have to do numerous passes each time you do a section, 
because it's inevitable you're going to miss one because there's so many different symbols in such a small area or in a big area, however you look at it. And you just end up missing it. This is like your eyes just like that. Ah. There's a car right here, way over here. Did I look over there when I was doing the car? No. Duh. It's another spaceship here. Okay. I have to go back. When you're doing a big project like this, especially when there's a lot of confetti and you get done for, you know, the day or whatever for the session that you're doing, you'll come back like later and you'll like glance at it and take a look at it. Um, Cause usually it's still, you know, laying here on my desk and you can't even tell that you did anything that day. You're like, yeah, that I, I diamond painted for two hours. Does it look like I did? No, it doesn't. It's really bizarre. You really don't start seeing progress until it's probably... <clears throat> probably like three quarters done in that section where you start going oh yeah it, it's starting to look like it's almost done I really need the airplane there's a lot of airplane there Okay, I think that's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just say I'm done with the boat for right now and switch over to something else. Let's do, maybe the wings? Where would I have put the wings? Um, oh, here, so these are the wings and this is the clover. And then this is, these are all these blues. And this is the, the hazard. And then, okay. Maybe later on I'll put a movie on or something or be watching YouTube and I'll bring this, um, uh, situation over here with the 8, 825 or the 3765 where I dumped the wrong color in there. Okay, I'm doing this one. Move these out of the way or I'll think I'm doing those. Um, and I'll, I'll fix that situation so that I can use that color. Okay, so this is like the bird wings. I call them bird. Well, it could have fire. Maybe it's fire. Oh crap, there's a boat. Oh my god. Maybe it's fire and not bird wings. Either or. It's like a dark blue. blue section since these are blue
airplane. Have to find that symbol there. There's one here. can see more progress once you start closing in an area you know once there's just like a few you go oh okay yeah we're getting there at least in that area you know But yeah, this is mostly, what's this, like the second pass through here? Um, maybe second or third in this particular section. Okay, the wings are over there, or fire, or whatever that is. Okay, let's do the hazard symbol. I don't think there's many of those. It's kind of a medium blue. Okay, where did I see it? Here. Here. So since I've been working on this particular diamond painting kit for a long time, I'll just kind of do a recap. So it's got over 200 colors and it's probably, I don't have the exact measurements. Uh, uh, let's see, oh here I do. It says, no, what does it say? Is it? No, no barking. No, no, no. Um, no, it doesn't say on the canvas what size it is, but it's probably maybe like three by maybe two and a half by three and a half. Girls, no barking. They hear something outside. Um, it's from, I think it's a diamond painting Deutschland which is in Germany. So it did come all the way from Germany. So there is a shipping cost with this. This wasn't too bad. I mean, since I love the artwork so much, I was I was willing to to pay that. Because there was no way I was going to try to order the drills individually, you know, like buy the pattern. I think it might be on the Heaven and Earth Designs website, you know, buy the pattern and then convert it to a diamond painting from a cross stitch project and then buy the drills individually, la 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 la, get a blank canvas. Yeah, that would have just been, and if it was, if I was trying to do this on a blank canvas where I had to count, I, I probably would lose it because Working on the cross stitch is difficult enough, but, um, you know, doing this would just be as much of a pain. There's the fire wings things right here again. So, you know, once I saw that they had the kit, I was like, yeah, I have to have that one. I want to do that one. And I got the, the, um, 
bubble wall from them as well. And at first it was a little difficult because I, I was not used to doing such a big canvas and I didn't really have my methodology down. I didn't have the drill sorted in a better way. I think I did have them by number and it was taking forever to find a color. And I think doing by symbol, I hear Rosie growling, um, made things a lot easier. Okay, I wonder if there are any more. So the picture is gorgeous. Uh, the drills are shiny. It's a little uh, finicky on the um, adhesive, the double-sided adhesive part of it. And the only other thing is that, well, that's, you know, like the drills are kind of like sliding a little bit. I don't know how to, else to put it. But they're sort of sliding a little bit. Okay, I feel a dog at my feet again. They all got down. Well, whatever they heard, somebody slammed a door outside on their car. So they all had to go, like, check it out. Like, it was a massive intruder alert. Come here, baby. Did you go pee-pee while you were out there? Come here. Come on. Okay, never mind. I can't bend over like that. You're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. Um... So just be aware, it's not poured glue. It is double-sided adhesive. But, you know, I'm, I'm doing the best I can with it. And I think that once I have it uh, sealed and framed and up on the wall, you're not going to be able to see anything. Because when I put Magic Potion up on the wall, the big, big canvas that I did from Diamond Art Club, you can't see any any kind of imperfection or anything. All you see is shiny diamonds and a picture, you know. So I'm not going to be too concerned because at first I stopped working on this because I was like, oh, there's this little gap, they're moving, it's not perfectly straight, blah, blah, blah. My perfectionistic tendency was like kicking in really super hard. Um, and I'm like, I don't know, there must be something wrong, it's the wrong size diamond, it's, you know, they printed the canvas to the wrong size, and I was trying to, you know, kind of reason away why I wasn't enjoying how it was turning out. And then I just kind of realized, like, you know, it, it is what it is. Once you get the diamonds all on there, and it's up on the wall, nobody is going to see anything. You're not going to see anything. And with the way that your memory is shot, you probably <laughs> won't remember any mistakes or anything looking weird. Just just go ahead and just work on it. Just finish it up, get it cleaned and sealed and just put it on the wall and just, just shut up about it. Just stop. Stop nitpicking. Which I actually did stop nitpicking for the most part. Every once in a while I'll be like, ugh, why can't these be perfectly straight? But, um, you know, I'm old, so I just, just like, stop caring. Don't worry about it so much. I'm going to put this toxic thing there. Okay, this is the kind of like a clover thing. My eyes are starting to, like, go wonky. Does anybody say the word wonky? Probably not. Okay, so this is clover. It's another dark blue. Or leaf, or whatever you want to call it. Maybe it would help if I 
scan the image, scan the canvas, like in some, oh my god, there's the hazard thing, in some kind of uh, organized fashion. But I just can't be bothered to do that because I, I just forget. I started at one point to do that where I was kind of going like this and like this and like this and like this. But um, yeah, I just I just forget to do it. Mostly I go by, I scan by the color. So if you know like all this kind of color is like a beige color is here. You're not going to look over here for that color. Let me see who's at my feet. It's Rosie. Come here. Come on. This is, oop. That just bumped your head. That's what happens when they get down to go see what's going on outside. Then she comes back in here and she's like, Mom, pick me up again. Like, seriously? Why'd you get down in the first place? It was just a door slamming. It wasn't even anything exciting. Evie's growling at the baby. Evie's very finicky. She doesn't like people invading her sleeping space. So when the baby goes over there to sniff her, she starts growling. She didn't do anything. She just growls at her. Like, go away, little brat. Leave my space alone. I'm learning that puppy etiquette. Dog etiquette. Well, they are pack animals. They do learn from each other. And there are rules. They can't just do whatever they want. Like, you know, let me come chew off your face. And the other dog's like, I don't think so. And she tried to, to chew on them a little hard a couple of times. Not really knowing, you know, that little puppy innocence. Oh, I just want to chew on things. And they were like, well, that's my face or my leg or whatever. And so they would kind of like, you know, do it like a little yip it or like knock it off. And that's how she learns not to do that to them. And I don't normally interfere in that at all. First of all, I'm not a dog, and they can pretty much handle it on their own. If I saw any kind of, like, mega sign of aggression, you know, they're just being assertive. If I saw aggression, I'd break them up, but I haven't seen that at all. So they either know that she's a baby, or they know that she doesn't know the rules you know, the little, their own little pack rules that they have already. And then Rosie had to learn the same thing when she became part of the, the pack. Because, of course, we started with two, and now we have four. But that's it. Like, the two older ones and the two younger ones are working fairly well together. And that's that. I think if I tried to introduce another one, it would just throw off the whole balance. So two older, two younger, and we're good to go. Okay, so we've got the diamond, the airplane issue, which is over here. There's a lot of airplane. This symbol here, I don't even know where that is. It's like five squares in an X pattern. Which should be relatively easy to find, right? Here we go. Let me see. Is this it? Yeah. So all of these type of patterns are kind of together with the the um, plus signs, little crosses, anything like that. Let's 
Okay, so. Put these away. I don't use need these at the moment. Sip of water. I think I'm going to leave it at that. We've been going about an hour and a half. And my eyes are starting to get a little tired. Um, that's what happens when I do like a lot of like, like kind of focus, close in work. It even happens to me when I'm gaming. I'll be like, I'm like starting to I'm starting to see double double villagers in my Animal Crossing island. It didn't used to happen before, but I noticed it as I get older and it's just like, oh I don't know if it's from close up focus. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen when I'm looking far away, so who knows? But maybe I need to go to the eye doctor and I don't know, maybe get a, a better I mean, you know, I've got these, I've got these here for up close. Well, this is for, com the upper part is computer and the bifocal down here is close up. But I don't really have one that's like um, an actual, like mag, like where it makes it like super, you know, bigger, like reading glasses. So my eyes after a while, they just start getting that strain. What are you doing little baby? Don't you want to come up here with mommy? Oh. Come on this side. Rosie's over here behind you. Go lay with Rosie. Go lay with Rosie, Misty. Okay, so where are we at? Try and finish this section, and then I'm going to move on to this section so here we have like a lot of lighter colors that'll be nice for a change there's a lot of dark color if you look at the picture there's a lot of dark up at the top and here so now we're gonna get into kind of like a lighter color section and we get down like into the Sun coming up in the background there I guess that's on the horizon I guess she's pouring the water over there. Yeah. Right? I think so. Yeah, because the moon the moon's here. And this is the jug that she's pouring the water of life out of. So it must come over here. Cool. Okay, so I'm making progress. Slowly, <laughs> slowly but surely. But between um, diamond painting and coloring and my cross stitching in the morning, although now that the the puppy is is potty trained, I can probably come in here more often and diamond paint more, which is nice because I do miss it. So. I'm going to fix this situation here where I poured some of this color into here. There's only about, I don't know, 20 or so, but I got to figure out like the best way to do that. And then next time I come back, I'll work on this little, uh, the little five squares in the X or whatever. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And if you haven't been to my channel before, I do diamond painting, cross stitch, and adult coloring book uh, videos here and live streams. And um, every once in a while I do an unboxing, but I have like three more, I don't know, three more kits that are in boxes. So I need to finish Aquarius, Bubble Wall, and the Serafina and welcome home before I even open those boxes. So it'll be a while before you see another unboxing video. And then, 
I also have a gaming channel called Gaming with Kale. That's also on YouTube. And the gaming channel is also kind of mirrored as much as possible on Twitch. So if you're on Twitch, you can come and follow me over on Gaming with Kale and see my gaming stream. So I'm mostly a casual and cozy gamer. So you'll see things like Dinkum and Animal Crossing, Disney Dreamlight Valley, Stardew Valley, those sorts of things. Um, I'm not very good with combat in games, so you won't see any like super fast action RPGs or first person shooters or third person shooters really or anything like that. Um, I'm not much of an MMO player. I did try Final Fantasy XIV, but I don't know if I'll ever like go back to that. It's kind of complicated game. There's a lot to learn. So, um, but yeah, you can join me over there. And um, I'm trying to think, what else do I need to pass on? I'll try to get back to streaming regularly here in my office now that I've got the puppy situation mostly under control. I think keeping my fingers crossed that I mostly have that under control and then I can just like you know do morning streams here or my diamond painting or my coloring or whatever and then in the afternoons do the gaming stream so hopefully that's how I want it to go if real life will cooperate and if the puppies will cooperate so um, yes my life does re rotate and revolve around my animals but that's the way it is and they're little and they're young so you know, I gotta, I gotta be a good mom to them, and I enjoy it. So, anyhow, thanks for watching. Try and make the world a better place. We really, really need it. Be kind. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to the world. Um, be kind to each other. <clears throat> there's, there's so much violence, and there's so much hate, and there's so much intolerance, and just anger just floating around in the in the psychic ether any moment that you're kind and gentle and loving and tolerant um, not agitated not upset not angry not fearful anytime you're in a really good positive state you're gonna help that psychic ether just um, improve and and make good vibes send them out into the world and we really really need it so um you know god's watching but it's not his job to make the place better that's our job you know we have to take responsibility for our own actions and take responsibility for our world and the state that it's in so just be kind uh, kindness and love go a long way towards making situations better. Even though they may not seem to at first, you may not see like any kind of like reward or whatever, but it does help improve things. And if you're smiling and you're walking down the street and somebody sees you, they're going to like that instead of frowning. So smile, enjoy, have a great day, subscribe to the channels, follow, Turn that notification bell on so you'll know when I'm streaming again or putting up another video. Thank you for being tolerant of any, any <laughs> non-professional YouTuber issues, volume, whatever. Um, hopefully the stream quality is just not too, too bad. So I will see you next time. Enjoy the day and... Be a sparkly person.